Hey everybody, Brian here with Survival Cash. I reached a stopping point with my experiment of making homemade activated charcoal. And I thought I'd show you here what I'm doing. So I set up four jars. And what I got on the left here, I have a jar of just distilled water and iodine. This is kind of my control. So this is what it's gonna look like without any charcoal in it. This is the one I'm going to use to compare to all the other jars that I have of charcoal. This one has just regular lump charcoal that's been crushed down with iodine and distilled water. This one has the homemade activated charcoal, distilled water and iodine. It's made out of the same charcoal that this is, but this homemade one is the one that was used with the recipe of lemon juice and water. And in the last jar, it is pre-bought activated charcoal, iodine, and distilled water. So I started off with, I believe it was 20 drops in each jar, stirred it up, allowed it to sit for about 24 hours, to let everything settle and see if there was a difference. There wasn't, so I continued adding more drops of iodine. Um, and I finally hit a point where there was a change, and it happened with the homemade activated charcoal. So... It's probably kind of hard to see, but this has just the regular lump charcoal in it that's not activated. It's the same type of charcoal you would use in your grill, except it doesn't have all the additives in it and all that. Anyway, um, as you can see, it's kind of a bluish gray color, but that's just kind of from the charcoal. So if it had any iodine still in the solution that you could see, it would have a bit of that yellow, yellowish tint to it. Yellow, orange, whatever color that is. But it doesn't. Um, the activated charcoal kind of looks the same. It's a little bit clearer than that one, but I think it's because the powder may be finer or, or just settled better. But it has the same color where there's no iodine that you can really see. However, in the homemade activated charcoal one, again, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm trying to get the sun in there. You can kind of see it's starting to get that yellowish tint to it there which means there's iodine in the solution and it's, it's stopped absorbing it. So what does that mean? It means that all three of these have the same amount of iodine in them, but the homemade activated recipe that I used isn't working as well as pre-bought activated charcoal or even just regular lump charcoal. So this was my first experiment. Obviously science is based upon repeatable result, results. So I'm gonna do this a couple more times, maybe on a smaller scale. But so far I have to go under the assumption that this recipe doesn't really work to, to activate it. Um, I could even say that just the non-activated regular charcoal is working better than this. Uh, don't really know the reason why the only thing that i can come up with is possibly the lemon juice maybe the particulates in it are clogging up the pores in the charcoal in the, the activated the quote-unquote activated homemade method um, and that's making it a not as good of a filter than just regular charcoal but i you know that's just an assumption i don't know but anyway that's what i have so far i'll let you know how the other ones turn out Hey everyone, Brian back here with kind of the conclusion to my homemade activated charcoal experiment. So I went ahead and I tested all three of these charcoals again, but on a much smaller scale. And I ended up getting the same results that the homemade activated charcoal using the lemon juice just wasn't very good. Um... It was starting to change color with the iodine much sooner than the regular charcoal and then and obviously of course of uh, pre-made activated charcoal i don't know exactly why that is <clears throat> all i know is that it i got several results that said it it just wasn't working um ironically it wasn't working even as well as the regular charcoal so for whatever reason that you're using the charcoal for as a filter or whatever 
using this homemade activated method actually made the charcoal worse than if you would just used plain regular charcoal. Um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and just pitch this batch of homemade activated charcoal that I have with the lemon juice because it's not effective. So I'll go ahead and keep the regular charcoal powder. I have other uses I can um, put it put it towards. And obviously I'm going to keep the Anthony's activated charcoal that I got. Um, and I keep it in this nice sealed bag because it's so fine. It does make quite a mess. But um, so those were my results was uh, that using this lemon juice method made the charcoal actually a worse filter than just plain charcoal. Maybe I did something wrong. Um, I don't think I did. I did the experiment several times, got the same results. Um, let me know what your guys' experiences are. Um, but be sure to always check your research and to not always take things at face value. This is one of those things that sounded too good to be true, and I think it was. Um, and it was important for me to test this and find that out because of what char this what activated charcoal is usually used for in terms of health matters um some people actually even consume it so to say that you can make it at home and it's the same as what you buy it's not only false it's it can be harmful i believe so very very important to do your own research do your own testing make sure things work before you just take it at face value anyway i hope this helps thanks for watching